Good evening, guys. It is time for the paw, hashtag paw, paw August art. <laughs> That's kind of a tongue twister. But this is... I had to start this a couple days ago because it would have taken way too long. It's going to be kind of like a Tweety Bird. But it's... But it's going to be from a cartoon. It's based on a Looney Tunes. Uh, oh, I can't. It's Miss Prissy. I can't think of the cartoon. Um, Foghorn something. Um, so this is her paper mache. I hot glued her. She doesn't quite stand up, but I'm hoping to fix that as I go along. But I thought for now I'll just... I guess gesso her and you know obviously it's going to take a couple it may even take longer than three days to get everything done the way that I want it and I want to add white feathers but I don't have enough white feathers to add to her but you know she may be kind of a longer than three to three uh, days so let me get my stuff ready I'm going to have to pause you guys for a second. Okay, guys, sorry. My husband needed to get something. So hopefully... I just did add it a little bit more. I don't know, maybe I'll... I'll just start somewhere. Zoom her in. Just gonna start with the feet. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get this uploaded or sickly started since it's kind of late, but you know, because I was feeling kind of grumpy today and not really feeling much of like arting, but then I kept seeing everybody's videos and I said, well, let's at least get it started. And I was inspired by uh, Charisse, uh, I want to say, I can't remember what her last name was, Charisse, she was paper mache. Uh, Evers? No. I can't remember her last name now. know if I needed to gesso or but I really enjoy doing the paper mache. I don't know if anybody else has tried to make it. You just take like newspaper or you know any any like um, advertisement and you can roll it up into the shape that you want. And then just um, put masking tape over it and then paper mache it and then if you want you can add the paper clay over it which is what I was going to do, which I might still do, I don't know. This, you know, this may take longer than three days, so. She's not gonna wanna stay 
you know, arm, I didn't glue her arms in yet because I probably should take them out. Because they're still just a little bit wet. And this is, I guess, more the old-fashioned way that to do the paper mache with just the flour and water mixture. But I also don't want my video to be too long. I might do some off of camera too so that it goes maybe a little bit faster but we'll see because I want her to come out cute. My husband says that we should put her on that coffee table. <laughs> I don't want my cat to tear at her because she has paper or chew on her or any of that. Stood up. There we go. Let's add a little bit of water. I don't know. If I want to paper mache around her neck more. I might. over a little bit. Sorry guys. I might just want to paint her. Just, you know, gesso her a little bit. Maybe just leave, leave her white and then if I want to add feathers later on, maybe I'll do that. Falling over. Oh, it's hard on my back. I don't want to cover the holes up so I know where her arms go.
arms in the way, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, guys. you guys see? Sorry, my cat's out there crying. I should probably need more than one coat of gesso on her.
and it's kind of wet here. So I think I'm going to have to let her dry. Sticky now. Oh. So I don't know, can you guys see her? I'm zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna switch the tripod up a little bit. Oop, that's too high. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here because she's going to dry because I've got the gesso on her. I'll probably add another coat and then do her little wings and glue her wings in and then figure out if I'm going to put actual feathers on her or just paint her. Because this may take more than three days. So, okay, I'm going to sign off for now, guys. Have a great night. And don't forget to go check out the other artists who are doing hashtag PaAugustArt. And I'll talk to you guys later. Good night, guys. Bye.